Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to No No Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro uh, 10.3 tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to briefly cover the actual 10.3 update and the layout changes. So let's go ahead and dive straight into Final Cut uh, here. And now you all notice if I go to About Final Cut, I'm running on version 10.3. I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to go straight from top to right and try to explain everything I can within the actual Final Cut Pro for you guys and show you guys the changes within uh, Final Cut uh, from 10.2 to 10.3. So let's go ahead and first thing first I do want to mention that uh, right off the bat your actual audio and imports and text tiles along with elements and uh, backgrounds are all up here next to your projects uh, options as well. So let's go ahead and jump in uh, here at the very top left. You'll first have your import button where if you have a actual external hard drive or external camera you want to import from, you can import straight from uh, USB as well. Here you have your uh, keyword search or editor. Also, you can see any background tax, tasks that you're currently running. If you're exporting at the same time as editing, this might be a good option to keep an eye on to see how far your exports have gone. And uh, also, just right here at the bottom, we have our just our library. Our libraries. I'm currently in my Norma Films uh, event and uh, in my Norma Films project as well. I have all my projects shown here at the top. You can categorize it by uh, rejected clips or all clips. Rejected clips are clips you've uh, basically that you've imported and you've selected and you hit delete on them. On your keyboard, you, once they're selected, you've hit delete, you're rejecting the clip and you will move to your rejected section. Visit your rejected section if you actually have clips that you've deleted and they appear to be still on Final Cut. So I'll go ahead and go to your rejected section and you'll be able to find uh, clips that you might have wanted to actually move to trash and then remove them from your trash so you can save uh, some uh, memory so they're not just taking up space and sitting there in the background of Final Cut that you're not even using. Here you can also change your layout of how your clips look your, besides from your um, projects and from your clips. Also you can adjust uh, the size of them. I'm just going to leave them the same. You can sh so show wave formats, uh, continuous playback as well. You can also search if you've named or you've categorized your items by particular names. You can search for them if you can't find them. And uh, you can even add in additional terms of how you want to search. I'm going to hide that. Now just to the right here we actually can see the specifications of the current video or, or <laughs> the clip selected. So I'm actually going to select my project normal films. You'll notice that it's 4K, 30 frames per second, stereo, normal films, uh, just the title of the video and uh, where I am within the timeline down here as well, which is uh, just a black space. And I have it at 14% which is basically what is fitting, what will fit the entire 100% of the screen on this little window here. Also, you can uh, do several additional uh, view settings. You can do four different angles. If you're putting different angles or cameras, if you're doing like a 3D render of some sort, you'll be able to take advantage of your view options here as well. Now, before we do go on, I do want to cover this as well. You'll have to have one of these enabled at once, but you can hide some of these views. You can hide your projects window if you're just trying to work within your timeline and the actual video. And then also, this one's very important. Um, not this one, but this one just to the far right. It's the, your inspector window. So when you have a clip selected, this is where you'll actually find your most of your editing options. They're no longer down here where they used to be. Your inspector is right up here. If you selected the clip, selected the title, you'll be able to edit it through this inspector window. That, that one's very important. Uh, this other one here will find your, hide your timeline if you're only working within your uh, projects and your window. You'll hide your timeline, in, but I don't know why you want to hide it. There you go. Your timeline will be back. Just to the far right, this one's also important. This is how you export your project to the far right. You'll be able to choose several different options of how do you want to export DVD, YouTube, uh, export just a file to your desktop, which is what I recommend. And that would be as master file. And then you can customize it as you please. Now, uh, we've covered most of the top section. Let's go to, to the bottom here. The index is uh, showing you everything you have currently within your timeline. And you can actually find these items if you're trying to if you're working on a huge project, these uh, clips here will come in very handy. Also, if you have a clip selected up here, like for example, let's say you just select a portion or for example, like I just selected the entire clip, you can uh, use these options just the right of index to add them anywhere within your timeline or just a basically placement of where you want to place the clip. Also, you have shortcuts for these on the right. These are actual those specific tools, which I have a link. I have a full tutorial on this. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. Uh, my Final Cut uh, 
playlist. Now go ahead and uh, if you look at the letters here on the right, you'll notice that A and T will correspond to these particular um, tools. So if you press T, it will go to the trim tool just like that. If you press A, it will go straight to the pointer tool or the select tool just like as shown. And just to the right here, you also can uh, go from forward to backward between your actual projects that you have uh, just above or below depending on which project you have currently selected. It'll tell you the time of your current project as well. And this, uh, it, may, it will vary depending on how big your project is and what you have in your project or how many clips you have in your project or depending on what you have selected. So this time will change. Last but not least, just a section to the right over here, we have uh, audio skimming on off. You have to enable this one to enable on audio skimming on off. Now just to the right of the audio skimming, you also have this headphone looking icon which uh, allows you to solo selected items. Um, there's also snapping, you can turn it on and off. And then additional items here to how you want to view your timeline. You can adjust the size of it, uh, the actual uh, zoom length of how much of the clip you can see. I'm actually going to increase the size of it a little bit. And then clip names as well. Um, you can show them uh, just to the left of them. Clip rolls as well. <laughs> Give you different uh, aspects. If you're working with a huge project, this will come in handy. Just to the right here, your last two options, you'll have your audio and video effects along with your blurs, dissolves, and uh, transitions that you can actually use throughout your video. Keep in mind those are there and also your titles and texts are up here to the top left and your audio and sound effects are up here to the left as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Also, if you have an extra minute, go ahead and let me know below what your favorite feature is within Final Cut Pro. Later. So let my life be the